It is true that money does not grow on trees, but these days it does grow on the blockchain. And one of the tools that you absolutely must know if you're exploring or researching different types of cryptocurrency projects is CoinMarketCap. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to very, very easily use the tool to do some basic research. And I guarantee you'll learn something that you can do in CoinMarketCap that you didn't even know was possible. So with that being said, Let's dive in. So when you first navigate over to coinmarketcap.com, it might seem a little bit intimidating, but I promise as we go through this, you'll understand it quite simply. So first things first, I want to point out that if you go ahead and you sign up to CoinMarketCap and create an account, you will actually be able to create a watch list where you can add coins to your watch list so you could see how they're doing in the markets. And you'll have access to this portfolio feature where you can actually connect your wallets or Binance account, OKX account, or just add transactions manually. And you'll be able to see a lot of stats as far as that goes as well. Now on CoinMarketCap, you will see over here on the left hand side, the trending coins. And you can actually toggle here to see how the recently added ones are performing. And also you can see how the most visited. So the most that people are searching for how they're doing here. The next thing I want to point out is this market cap section here. Now what this is showing you is the total market cap of every single crypto out there in the crypto market. And currently it stands at 3.65 trillion. Very quickly, when you see the word market cap, that is simply the price of the crypto. So you can find that here, the price of let's say Bitcoin today is $105,200 multiplied by the circulating supply. So let's scroll back up here and actually cover what dominance means. You see how it says here that Bitcoin is 57.11%. What does that mean? Well, very simply, all it's doing is dividing the market cap of Bitcoin by the market cap of all of the crypto market, which is 3.65 trillion. And so this 57.11% Bitcoin dominance figure simply represents the percentage of the total crypto market cap that Bitcoin accounts for. Now over here, they do provide a crypto fear and greed index, and it's denoted by where this black dot is. So the closer it is to getting very green, this will go to 100. The closer it is to getting very red, it will go to zero. And zero just means there's a ton of fear in the market and people have irrationally sold off their crypto holdings versus if it's approaching 100, you could see that there's tremendous amount of greed, which means people are YOLO and FOMOing in and most likely there will be a correction and a pullback. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, we will see a lot of crypto projects ordered as one, two, three, four, five. And you'll see if you scroll all the way down that there's 100 listed per page. So how exactly are they ordered? Well, it's ordered by market cap, which remember is the current price, which you can find on the left hand side here, multiplied by the circulating supply, which you can find right over here. Now, it's really cool the way that coin market cap has set up their platform in a very easy to use manner, because if you hover over any of the circulating supply in any cryptos, it will actually show you a bar and the percentage of the circulating supply versus the total supply or the maximum supply. And you could see that information here. And it's so helpful when you're researching crypto and it's ordered in market cap from the largest market cap. And then going down, you will see that it goes from largest to smallest market cap for the top 100. You can actually reverse these charts. So if I select market cap again and then flip this, now it's showing me of the top 100 crypto projects. Here is the smallest one by market cap. And as we go down the list, the market cap will increase until we get to the largest projects, which currently are XRP, Ethereum and Bitcoin. So let's see what other information we could derive here. So we see the price. This just denotes the one hour percentage gain or loss. So how did this crypto change in price in the last hour? 
This is how it changed in the last 24 hours. And this is the percentage it changed in the last week. Now, if we go ahead and select this, we can actually order it. So if I wanna see of the top 100 cryptos, which one changed the most out of the past hour, we can see that right here. Now, if we do the same thing with the seven day, you can actually see of the top 100 cryptos, which one has increased the most percentage wise by price. And you could see it's Trump official, fart coin. It's sad to see that a lot of these are just meme coins. I'm someone who's a proponent of utility cryptos, but it is what it is. This is the age we live in. Now, if you wanna go back and see it the way it was, just select market cap and make sure there's a down arrow because then it will order it as far as largest crypto project by market cap. So we also have something here called trending. Now, trending is going to show you which ones are the most popular and you can actually select the 24 hour mark, six hour mark, one hour mark, or a week. If you select new, you will actually see all of the new coins and tokens and the statistics as far as those go. If you wanna see the top gainers, you can select gainers and you could take a look at the last week or the last 24 hours or the last hour. You can also see the most visited. Maybe that'll give you information on which cryptos people are keeping an eye on. Now you don't have to have it set up like that. You can actually change it with filters. So if you put a filter in, you can actually dictate to CoinMarketCap which cryptos to show you based on these filters. There's also a column section here where you can actually add a bunch more of metrics. So for instance, maybe I wanna see the maximum supply as well. Now, before we select an actual individual crypto and I'll show you all the various things you can learn from the actual crypto project using CoinMarketCap, I wanna point out I'm not sponsored by anyone, there's no affiliate links, CoinMarketCap isn't paying me, and there's no courses, there's no discords, none of that junk. I just wanna help you guys and learn alongside the rest of you. So I hope you appreciate that I'm not stuffing anything down your throats. So let's go ahead and see the information we can derive if we select a specific crypto. So let's say Bitcoin. If I select Bitcoin, let's go through all of the information here. So the first thing it's gonna show me is that it's ranked number one out of all the active cryptocurrencies. That's what this number says right here. Now, if you select this star, it's gonna add it to your watch list if you've registered for an account, which is free to do. Over here, we're gonna see the current price. Here, it shows us the market cap and how it's changed over the past 24 hours. Here, it's gonna show us the volume and has it increased or decreased over the past 24 hours. Another metric to pay attention to is the circulating supply versus the maximum supply. And if you're not sure why it's not at the maximum supply, then you have to get into the tokenomics of the actual project and learn about it. They provide the official website here and the white paper. Now the white paper is very difficult to read and that's why this feature is awesome because if you're really, really knowledgeable in crypto, you can go ahead and read the expert version of the full white paper or you can actually take a look at the intermediate or even beginner description. And this is so helpful if you're trying to learn. Speaking of which, if you come over here and you hit the about, you're gonna be able to see some of the most common questions answered in a very easy to understand manner. This is so very helpful. And over here, they have a summary of the white paper. That's what we were looking at up here as well. But here you can see beginner, intermediate, expert. So let's now talk about the actual chart. The charts here are extremely helpful. Now, if you wanna keep it simple, you could keep it as a line chart right here. Personally, I love using candlestick charts. I've made a candlestick chart tutorial in the past. I will link it in the description of the video. But for the sake of this video, we'll just keep it a line chart. And you can see here, you could select the seven day, the one month, the one year. Now, if you're confused why some of it is red and some of it is green, whatever timeline you select here, what it actually does is it takes the price that it was at and it basically draws a horizontal line here. And if the price ever exceeds that, you will see it in green because it's a gain. And if it ever goes below it, you will see it in red because it's a loss. Here's something really helpful to know. So some people think that you could just do one day, seven day, one month, one year, and all time. 
but that's actually not accurate because coin market cap is pretty awesome in this sense. If we take a look at, let's say the one year, you can actually grab this timeline bar here and you could select it to whatever you want. So you can expand and contract the timeline as you see fit. This is a really awesome feature. If you wanna do some really advanced stuff, you can select trading view. And what that's gonna do is pull up a very interactive chart where you're going to be able to do a lot, including create support lines, resistance lines. There's a heck of a lot of things you could do. It would take me a year to go through and cover all of these tools, which I might do at some point. But for the sake of this video, let's keep it simple. I wanna show you now a very powerful feature within coin market cap it's called the compare with by the way if you zoom in a little bit the compare with it's going to be down here and if you're zoomed out on your screen the compare with will be up here so we can select any crypto for instance xrp and you can actually see percentage wise what's happened to the price from the time range that you selected it's so helpful for analysis especially when you're looking into two projects and figuring out which one you would want to invest in. I also wanna point out that sometimes it's really helpful to take a look at the market cap because the market cap chart might be different than the price chart, especially if the circulating supply drastically changes. And you see how there's no way to X out and just have it be Bitcoin or XRP now? Well, the way to do that is you go back to compare with and you're actually just going to delete whatever was in there. So you'll either select it and click backspace or delete. And now you see that we're just looking at the price of Bitcoin over the past year. Coin Market Cap also has an amazing feature here, which is news, where they actually do a good job at summarizing the important articles. You can see where the actual sources are from. I actually read through this quite a bit. If we go to analytics, I love looking at this. Now this might get a little more intermediate, but I do like staring at this for the different projects. For instance, the addresses by time held. If you're curious, the traders, those are the people that have just been holding for less than a month. The cruisers are typically between one month and one year. And the holders, these are the people that have been holding for over a year. And the way you interpret this is 71.79% of the holders of Bitcoin have actually been holding for over a year. What exactly is a whale? A whale is an individual or organization that is holding more than 1% of the entire circulating supply of a project. Something I highly recommend, if you go to the about section and you scroll down, you will eventually see something that says tokenomics. I would definitely select this and read this and make sure you understand it. It is so important to understand the economic structure of the crypto project that you're researching. I always look into this and then I figure out in detail the total supply, the token distribution, not just utility, but the incentives and rewards, governance, market dynamics. It's so important to understand all aspects of tokenomics. Now I'll just show you a few tools that you can use here if you hover over cryptocurrencies that I actually use all the time. One of them being is the altcoin season index. I love watching this because it's very important to understand when altcoin season is upon us. Altcoin season is when alternative coins to Bitcoin typically tends to grow or outpace Bitcoin as far as price because Bitcoin's price starts to stagnate because maybe it ran up a lot and then many people are locking in their gains but they want to then spread those gains and invest in some of the smaller coins so that they can see a profit. Think of it as smaller cap altcoins that people are pumping money into which are definitely a lot riskier but they often see massive gains during this altcoin season time. If you scroll down here, you can actually see the top 100 coins performance over 90 days. And it's always interesting to see which coins are at the top. Is it the popular ones? Is it the small cap ones? It's really incredibly interesting to see. I take a look at this chart all the time. Another really useful tool I want to show you is the historical snapshots feature. 
and you could see that CoinMarketCap has been tracking prices and data of crypto projects since April 28th of 2013. So if we take a look here at say January 5th, 2014, you will see the exact state of affairs. Take a look at this. Bitcoin was under $1,000. Litecoin just $26. XRP was two and a half cents. I don't even remember many of these. Peercoin, Omni, NXT, Quark, Megacoin. It's just interesting to go through and take a look at these and realize that the top 100 coins back then, most of them are non-existent today. Look at this, Lucky Coin. This was actually a fork of Litecoin and eventually Dogecoin was actually forked from Lucky Coin. It's amazing to see it here. And I used to trade for just two pennies. So there's honestly so much to learn. I mean, even just understanding this, DEX scan, or if you scroll down here, you would see Bitcoin markets, CEX, DEX. We're noticing DEX, DEX here, CEX here. What the heck does that mean? Well, CEX just means centralized exchanges. And these are operated by a company or organization that manages the platform. So this is like Binance, Coinbase, Kraken. Those are some of the popular ones. If you take a look at the decentralized exchanges, which is DEX, that's what DEX stands for, decentralized exchange, there's no central authority. The trades happen directly between users via blockchain technology. Examples of this is Uniswap, PancakeSwap, SushiSwap. Crypto is so fascinating and there's so much to learn. And I know some of this could get a little bit boring and dry or tedious. And most of the time, you can be very motivated to just invest in something, YOLO in, FOMO in, and then do the research later. But I'm telling you, if you actually want to crush it, in this space, you have to learn as much as you can because that's really how you get an edge and really make consistent profits year over year in the crypto space. So if I've helped you learn something in this video, can you help me out and do this for me? Do absolutely nothing. I don't want you to click on anything. No discords, no courses, nothing, no affiliates, no sponsors. I just want you to enjoy life, research crypto, never invest more than you can afford to lose. Take it easy. Don't just keep an eye on your crypto portfolio. Keep an eye on your mental health. Enjoy your friends, your loved ones. Enjoy life. This ride goes by quickly. So don't just spend it staring at candlestick charts, even though those can be interesting as well. With that being said, I appreciate all of you for sticking around and watching this video in its entirety. And hopefully, I will see some of you in the next video.